Hey, it's Jose here. And I just wanted to let you know that if you have a message to share, I want to tell you about Anchor. It is free and it is an easy way to create a podcast for you to share that message. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Everything you need to make a podcast in one place. There are certain creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. And most importantly, you can get your message out to the world and impact the lives that you were created to impact. Download Anchor right now. My name is Jose Vargas and I am on a mission to help you create breakthroughs in your personal and professional life so that you can grow and lead your life with excellence. Welcome everyone to the Jose Vargas Show. I am super excited that you decided to join me here today. Welcome to season two, episode three. With this show, my goal is to awaken, to empower, and to equip you so that you can get unstuck and be a leader worth following. In this episode, I want to show you how your head and your heart must be aligned if you want to reach your potential and your goals. So I was out there on my walks the other day, and I noticed this man and this woman that were walking together, and the man points towards the left as in let's go this way and the woman pointed straight ahead as in no let's go this way and in my mind it seems to me like they were saying this way no that way this way no let's go this way no let's go that way in other words they didn't have an alignment towards the direction they wanted to go and it reminded me of this very special bible verse in amos chapter 3 verse 3 that Even if you're not a a believer in the Bible, it is very uh, applicable to every leader who desires to make an impact and get results. And here's what that verse says. It says, do two walk together unless they have agreed to do so? Do two walk together unless they have agreed to do so? Now, before you tune me out, this is critical as a leader, if you want to get unstuck and accomplish your goals and your dreams and lead your life with excellence. Oftentimes, we're not getting the breakthroughs that we want in our careers or in our relationships or in our business, right? Taking the business to another level or even in our health, uh, taking our health to another level, reaching our health goals, losing the weight or gaining the muscle, or maybe we're not getting the financial uh, uh, you know, breakthroughs that we want and accomplishing our goals. And it's really because we're out of alignment. And that's what I began to think about when I noticed that man and that woman not sure what way to go, right? Not agreeing which way to go. In other words, there is a disconnect between the mind and the heart. In order to accomplish your biggest goals and build the life that you want, the organization that you want, and the family that you want, you need both. You need the heart and the mind. As a matter of fact, solid decisions are made with both the heart and the mind. Breakthrough happens in your life when the mind and the heart are aligned. In other words, heart plus head. What does this look like on a practical level? So let's say in a job, it can look like this. The head says, this job pays the bills, but I'm bored out of my mind. The heart says, I find no fulfillment doing this job. What if I could do something else? What if I can do that thing that I'm always daydreaming about? And the result of this disconnect could be mediocrity at your job. It could be lack of fulfillment. It could be discontentment. Or it could sound something like this. The head says, I need to create a budget so that I can get out of debt and live at peace financially. And the heart says, but I want to buy this now. Budgeting sucks. (laughs) I know we all have had had those conversations in our internal dialogues, right? Or it can sound something like this. The head says, I need to make this important hire to advance our organization and we could afford it. 
The heart says, yeah, but you can do it all. They won't do it as well as you will. Can you hear the tension? I believe this inner dialogue happens to all of us, especially if you are in a position of leadership. It happens to all of us. Anytime that there is a disconnection and your heart and your head are out of alignment, you will always find yourself stuck, unfulfilled, and frustrated. Like my earlier example with the couple I was observing, your head wants to go one route and your heart wants to go another. See, the mind is the more logical one, right? It knows the facts. It, it, it reminds you of the figures. It, it wants to do the spreadsheets. The heart is more emotional. It, it's that instinct of, of passion, of what brings fulfillment. It's the adventurous side of you. It is the heart. And you have to unite the heart and the mind and lead with both in the same direction in order to get the best results in your life and in your business. So what does this look like practically? Using our budget example, right? It is bringing your heart, right? Your passion, your desires, your feelings to the table, so to speak. And it is also bringing the mind to that table, the facts, the spreadsheet, the figures, and have a dialogue that could be something like this. Okay. I know I want to buy this home. I have a strong desire to live in this part of town. It's a beautiful home, beautiful neighborhood. Yet the reality is that right now, in order for me to reach my other financial goals, I have to put this buying decision on hold. I have to continue to save. And when I get to XX amount towards this goal, then we can make this a reality. See, it may sound crazy, but the fact is, and the reality is that most people are led by either the heart or the mind instead of both. And then what they do is they convince themselves that the decision they're about to make is the best one possible. In other words, they talk themselves into making that decisions without having actual facts or without listening to the heart for that instinct or that passion. And yet what I am suggesting for you and I to do is to make the best decision possible, right? To get, to get those results like never before is to use both the heart and the mind, passion and logic, facts and instincts to make those decisions. So how do you align your heart and your head? Something that is very, 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 very hard to do, but how do you do it? So when I coach someone, uh, and, and I help them create breakthroughs in any area of their lives or business. I start by helping them go through my lead through method. And the first phase is what I call locate, locate it. It is really locating where they are today. I often say that you can't get to your destination without first identifying your current location. You can't get to your destination without first identifying your current location. By the way, I invite you to listen to season one, episode one for more on this particular phase of my lead through method. Uh, but first, you have to articulate where you are today, specifically in the area that you're wanting your biggest breakthrough in. Right. So where are you emotionally in that particular area? Where are you spiritually in that particular area? Where are you financially, relationally, etc., in that particular area that you want your biggest breakthrough in? It's going to take intentionality. It's going to take courage for you to answer these questions truthfully and honestly. It's going to take you persistence to get your heart and your head aligned. But the more you define where you are, the clearer the road that you need to take will become. The more you define where you are, the clearer the road that you need to take will become. So how can two walk together unless they agree? You need to align your heart and your head towards the vision that you have for your life, for your finances, for your health for your relationships, for your business, for your marriage, for whatever it is that you are going after. You have to unite and align both the heart and the mind. So doing this alignment, right, aligning your heart and your head 
So doing that and, and going after the task, going after the goal, going after the relationship, going after the health goal, whatever it is with your whole self, you're undivided, you're unified within yourself to pursue that very thing that you want. And once you do this, you are clear to move forward towards creating those breakthroughs that you desire the most. Aligning your heart and aligning your mind so that you can begin to move towards that vision that you have and get the breakthroughs in your life. So if this episode has added any value to you today, do me a favor. I want you to text someone that you respect deeply and I want you to share it with them right now. Pause, share it with them, and remember this, that it takes time and it takes work, but together we can become a leader worth following. You don't have to remain stuck. You don't have to put up a front, but you can take actionable, practical steps to get your breakthrough and not just accept your life, but lead your life towards excellence and towards impact. Because isn't that what we want? We want to have impact in this world and we want to impact the people in our lives. I want to thank you for joining me today. Again, please share this podcast with another person and I'll see you soon.